Hey dancers, I wanted to talk a little bit about this exercise in combination before we try it with the music because I want to make sure you're getting the maximum benefit out of it before we begin. Okay, so this combination is a matter of transferring our weight and lengthening through our hips and getting on our supporting legs even if we're standing on our heels long through the body and through the back as we do that and then pulling into a contraction and then pulling back to that straight line. So from the front, one, two, long, three, four through the head, rotate up five, six, seven, eight. It's hard to hold that balance while I'm talking, but what I really want to have you avoid as a dancer, we do so much with shoulder pads in our other classes, and really it's to make sure that we're not breaking here. That's right below the rib cage, and that's where a lot of us want to lean back. So be very careful, eh, okay, and letting this part have a curve and this part have a curve. Straighten through here and extend, lengthening through the hips, opening just under, just in the rib cage, through here, in through the shoulders, long through the arms. This is something I struggled with as a dancer, and um, finding out as an adult I had scoliosis did not make that easier for me. So we all are going to have a different struggle, but in some people it's just the pelvic alignment. A lot of us it's up in our upper body too. So really long through here. So if you reach up, one, two, on the legs, not back here. See how this is releasing and this releases? Engage that lower abdominal muscle and lift through the hip flexor to really get that balance and then release and then open and then back through. So the combination is really fun. Let's try it with the music. Sorry for that little tutorial. Some of you already heard that in class, but it's a great reminder every time for your strength and your safety because I care about both. All right, let's get to dancing. I'm so I'm sorry for you Tell me if it's music on and explore other ways that we can really roll through the spine because that's that lengthening and that finding that stability is so important but then also knowing where to release a lot of us carry this tension in our neck so we're going to do this exercise for relaxation that I have in the um, high low warm-up and also in the new um, dreams warm up for junior contemporary and so I have this exercise and it was done in the old RAD for learning how to go through the spine so old grade one and so you swing down lowering through collapsing the back straight legs and then your chin should still be down and then rolling through your lowest back comes in first up through the abdominals and the head's the last to lift. And I know we've talked about that here and there in class, but as we have time to explore some of these things a little bit deeper on our own, uh, that's not a bad thing to do. So I'm gonna put the same music on and we can just do some weight and swing exercises. As this comes up, something in my personal posture journey that I wanna share, be careful that when this swings back and comes up that it does, doesn't stay it's up, but my shoulder joint is still rolled under. And that's something I'm having to strengthen and lift through. So this should be as long through here as possible without the spine cracking here. <sighs> it's easier to do it the other way, but you won't dance as well or as long 
as you'd like to. So let's play around with some weight and swing and then um, explore other ways that you could transfer your weight in one place through your spine. It's a great activity to do. It's going to help you with contemporary dance and all, all types of dance. Thanks for dancing with me. Have a wonderful day and stay well.